can, piranhas, peel, <laughs> pears, potatoes, and pumpkins. Can, piranhas, can, piranhas, peel, potatoes, and pumpkins. <laughs> Hey guys, and welcome back to another Unfiltered Gamer board game review for the game Race to Insanity, an improv and antics party game. It plays five or more players, and you definitely want more players for this one, ages 14 and up, and the game takes anywhere from 15 minutes or more if you would like. Now this game is reminiscent to games like Salad Bowl or Charades, in which you're going to basically be performing antics based on the cards that are read out to you in succession from the four players to your left. Players are going to draw cards from a deck, select a specific category, and then make you improv those specific categories. Now what makes this game relatively relatively insane is that every player is going to choose one of the categories until you have all of them available to you and then you'll have a certain amount of time to perform all of them. And when I mean all of them, I mean quite literally every single challenge at the same time. Whether it be saying something uh, crazy while doing something crazy while crawling on your hands and knees, uh, there's a ton of different things that you're going to have options to do and you'll score points based on how many you can do simultaneously and maybe how many you can do at the same time uh, uh, how many uh, times you can do it and so on and so forth and you'll Where Walter? Where Walter? Where Walter? Score points based on that category and how difficult that specific antic was. And then after the timer is over, you'll calculate your points, and then you'll go ahead and pass the uh, next player, that being the active player, to the left, and allow them to perform the crazy antics that will ensue throughout this game. Everybody will get equal turns, and then when you hit a certain point total, maybe a hundred points, you'll end the game, and whoever has the most points is the winner. Pretty straightforward, simple game, but this game is very, very crazy, and I'll, I'll show you that after I show you what comes in the game below. Welcome to the game and what is included, which is, of course, a rule book, a stack of cards, some make your own cards, a score sheet, a timer, and a pencil. Uh, there's a certain number of cards in the game, and each of them are going to have a certain number of categories, their points, and how many you're going to get if you successfully are able to do the challenge. When you're playing a game, you're probably going to want to have at least five players because then you can deal out four cards, one to every player who isn't acting, and then, of course, the other player. Who who would be the actor. Uh, each player in order is going to select one of the four different categories, vo vocal lines, action and motions, facial expressions, and vocal impressions. And after they've selected it, the next player will select and, s and then select and then finally select. And you can uh, basically only select one of each category. So if blue gets taken first, the next player won't get to choose blue and might choose green. And then blue and green will be out for the third person, meaning they could choose yellow or, or pink. And once one of those is chosen, there's only going to be one left. In which case, that will give you every single category for this player to attempt to accomplish. And if the player is able to successfully do that within the time limit, they're going to score the points listed for each of them. For all of them that they cannot complete, they will not score points. And some of them have special bonus points on them. There'll be like a little symbol above the card here, which will illustrate that you can score additional points, like for instance vocal impressions. You can change all your A's to E's, and for each time you do that you're going to score one point for the given time limit. The player will then attempt to do as much as they possibly can, score those points and then these cards will get discarded the next player will be the active player in which case uh, in this case the next player would go this way and then the next four cards would be dealt out to these players different cards of course and they would go ahead and guess the categories uh, after uh, each round of, of scoring you go ahead and put these guys down right over here and after a certain number of points that will end the game it's also nice too because in the rule book you have a bunch of examples of how to play the game what it looks like and then there's also additional rules that you can incorporate right with the game Race to Insanity. But for the most part, that's how you play the game. It's a fairly simple, straightforward game that involves a little bit of a salad bowl, a little bit of like attempting to do charades, and then of course a bunch of additional stuff that's similar to like Cranium and whatnot. It will come up, I'll give you my review, and I'll also show you some examples of how our friends and family played the game. So now that you've seen what comes in the game, let's show you how the game is played right now with one of my wonderful uh, cousins uh, demonstrating some wacky, crazy insanity. Yelling. <laughs> okay. All right. You ready? Okay. 
don't want to. It hurts my face. Do I have to open grin or can I? No, you can. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, because it hurts my face to open grin. <laughs> ah! The buttons on my boots <laughs> bounce back and forth. Ah! <laughs> 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 the buttons on my boots bounce back and forth. Ah! <laughs> the buttons on my boots bounce back and forth. Ah! <laughs> and uh, how about another one? And then one of Callie being, uh, well, slower than usual. I like ham and peanut butter sandwiches. <laughs> and that's basically the idea of the game. If you like party games that are similar to Satellite Bowl and Celebrity, if you like games that involve charades, and you want to attempt to make your friends do wild and crazy antics, this is your game. This is my favorite, hands down favorite, wild and crazy antics game, uh, charades style game that I have played. Uh, generally speaking, I don't much like charades games, especially Celebrity and Salad Bowl because it utilizes memory. Uh, this one doesn't really do that. This one makes you utilize all the different parts of your body simultaneously, which I think is much more interesting, uh, specifically because I'm terrible at trying to memorize things and having to like re rinse and repeat and recycle things and utilize them in my head. It's just something I'm, I'm not a big fan of doing, but this one here, it turns all that on its head, turns it up sideways and says, how about instead take four things that are pretty insane to do, put them all together and see how many you can do and then gauge your friends and family and engage with them as well and have them score you based on your insanity. And uh, this game has a wide amount of laughs. Some types of games like Pictionary and um, like Charades do in fact give some humor to them. But this one here, I died laughing. Over and over again, when they would try and attempt to do these insane things, I would I would be cracking up. Uh, and the amount of embarrassment shared with excitement, it was a nice mix as well. Being forced to do these challenges as well, I'd sit there like dreading my turn. And when it came time to do it, and I had to attempt to do it, I cared so much about getting the points, I was willing to basically uh, embarrass myself uh, to the point of scoring the highest points I could possibly do, because it's kind of a challenge to not only do what seems to be impossible, and also embarrass myself to the point where it doesn't matter anymore, but also you want to win the game, and that does play a role, because some of the cards will give you a more difficult challenge, but score you higher points. Are you going to tell your friends and family, give me the lower ones because it's easier for me to do those, and it's going to require me to be less embarrassing, uh, but I'll also be willing to lose the game. Well, maybe that's for you. Uh, but for me, every time I'd sit there and go, I really don't want to do these things, but give me the hard ones, because if I'm going to do them, I want to do the insane ones. And it always turned out well. Everybody around the table was laughing. Everybody was willing to do all the crazy shenanigans, which I think is what made the game so interesting and so fun. Um, if I were to play with a different group, there's certain groups, uh, gamers of my friends, who I definitely wouldn't play this game with because it's just not their type of game. It is a it is strictly party game that involves you doing weird and crazy things and if you join uh, a group of people who do not want to do these type of things this game is going to go over like a ton of lead bricks uh, it's pretty much the negative i have for this game it's a big one as far as the fact that y you're not going to be able to do this with every single person you have to be willing or at least they have to have like mm, some kind of notion to at least want to do one or two of the things to make the game interesting and entertaining everybody kind of wants to see the crazy person do crazy things but not everybody wants to be the crazy person and this kind of forces you into choosing to be as crazy as you can to score as many points as you can can without being too insane to the point where you actually can't succeed in the goals that are requested of you. All the cards here, I'll go over a couple of them with you. Uh, like, ask everyone, uh, ask everyone, I'm the Easter egg bunny, would you like an egg? <laughs> or do a rain dance, keep changing from a smiley face to a frowny face, name a famous singer, and sing the vocal lines in their style. Now, these are just four of the different categories, uh, and of course, you'll be doing one of each of these, but maybe not from, obviously, the same card. But you'll go through, and there's a ton of these, and maybe not a huge amount of cards, but because there's four on each of them, you're going to be doing different things throughout this game. Uh, there's also a make your own up, which is nice. I like the fact that I like whenever these games add those things because my friends who typically like party games like to add their own things. Uh, maybe even additional cards for the game would be nice. Uh, it's got a little scoring tracker, scoring board, and that works just fine. Of course, the timer works as well. Um, 
Actually, no, but this timer didn't work as well. I think it had to do with how the it got shipped or whatever. It, like, compressed the little area, but it's in, in general, the timers will work just fine. Uh, but, yeah, the, the timer is going to you know, count down. You're going to try and score as many points as possible in that specific time limit. Uh, regardless, though, I really, really enjoyed this game. I had a ton of fun. There was so many laughs to be had. I, I recorded all this terrible extra footage on my phone just because I thought it would be so interesting to show you guys how silly um, and enjoy and like, and the amount of enjoyment we had in the game. Uh, if you're a big party gamer, if you have a family of or friends who enjoy party games, Race to Insanity is what I would suggest you taking a look at, even though I'm not as like big of a fan of the style of the box, or the art. There's not a whole lot of that. This is mainly specifically a party game with the effect of it having the party features or aspects in it, but it's, it's not bad either. I mean, obviously, I'm maybe not going to do a Vincent Van Gogh kind of art on this game, but regardless, take a look down below if you're interested in picking up this crazy fun family party game. Uh, I had a ton of fun uh, with this game, and everyone else at the table did as well. Thank you guys for watching another Unfiltered Gamer board game review for the game Race to Insanity. Like I said before, links down below in the description to pick up the game, and you can also go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Hit that subscribe button and the bell notification button so you can see more videos of us doing reviews for all sorts of games, and maybe one you'll want to pick up, hopefully. Um, you can also go ahead and check out our live streams every Wednesday, 6.30 p.m. PST. We give away games, we play games, we do all kinds of fun stuff, and there's a great community on there, as well as, of course, our Discord, our website, and our Patreon. On. Last note, uh, we have another 48 hours on our campaign, Moonshell a Mermaid Game. My wife designed the game. It's a puzzle game involving open and closed objectives moving around a rotating board to acquire shells to place them onto your treasure chest to score points. Uh, it's a really beautiful little game, and if you're interested in taking a look at it, we greatly appreciate it. There's only a couple more days left, and we're probably not going to be going to retail or anything like that, so this is their last chance to, to get it. All right, thank you guys so much, and as always, I look forward to racing to insanity with you next time.